Hi everyone, and welcome to part 20 of Let's Build New York Brownstones. It's been a little while since the last part of the series, but last time we got a start on this final brownstone over here, so I just laid out the basic furniture for this first level. So my goal for this part is to finish at least this level of the building. Hopefully we can do that, because I have a tendency to overestimate what I can do. But I'm thinking this building is going to be furnished in more of a minimal, modern style. So I feel like it should be a lot quicker to furnish because, as I discussed last time, I'm going to have this be a building for a celebrity, so I'm assuming they're going to have a nanny, or not a nanny, or maybe a nanny too since I do have kids, but you know, they're probably going to have that, or a maid, or a butler, or something along those lines. So they're going to have someone helping to keep the place all spick and span, so I wanted to have that look of just not having a ton of clutter, which definitely will cut down the time that it takes to furnish. And I've also been thinking about what I want to do at this lower level of the building, and in the comments of the last part, several of you said that since we are going to have this be a celebrity's house, that it might be good to have the lower level be part of the house and have it be more of an entertainment level or a level with utilities. So I think that's a decoration or the, <laughs> I think that's a direction we're going to go in. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a staircase going up to this level in. So we're going to have it right under the one that's upstairs. I think right about... Yeah, I think right about here is where it's going to be under it. Now that we have that up, I'm going to get some kind of fence around it. So I'm thinking a clear modern fence, like perhaps this one, maybe in white. Yeah, I think I'm going to change the color of the staircase to be white as well because I just want this whole apartment to have this very light and modern, mo you know, very light modern feel to it. So yeah, we're going to do the same thing for the staircase as well and go with the swatch of it. And then I also wanted to rearrange the living area up here a little bit because Julia brought up that it might be a better use of space to swap the living in the dining room, which now that I think about it, I do agree with because honestly, towards the end of the last part, I just was not firing on all cylinders, I guess was an off day or something like that. So I just was not thinking clearly. Uh, so this is definitely something that's going to work out better. And I have some other ideas for making this look a little bit better as well because this is not really the best looking, you know, best looking star currently. So we'll just grab another one of these and have it under here. And then I think we're gonna, you know, I'm just gonna delete the island. Actually, no, I should, you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna be changing the counters anyway. So I'm just gonna get rid of the island so that we can kind of refigure it a little bit different. And then this can go right in here, centered between, between the space. And then another suggestion that I got was Victorian Rosebud said that instead of using two of these sliding doors that I should try to use that four tall wide one from Island Living which yeah definitely will look really cool look at that we even have a nice bright white shade of it yeah that looks really cool right here let's get a look at it okay yeah that that's definitely looking a lot better than having two of those Okay, so let's get on with making this kitchen look a little bit better. So I want to go back to reevaluating the counters that I was using because I just really am not feeling these. I just want something that feels super sleek and super modern. So I'm wondering if this one could look good in some swatch. Maybe not. Like what I want is just something where it's like a flat panel, flat panel, but we don't really have anything exactly like that. I mean, this is kind of like that. So maybe we'll just go with this. And then I can have some kind of more colorful tile behind it to add a pop of color in here because this area definitely could use a little bit more color to it. But we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of all this and then put this in over here. And then I wanna revisit that whole island situation. Since we're over here near the door now, I'm thinking we might have to go down to having a two-tile island because I'm worrying that if we have the three-tile one like we did before, it's going to get in the way of since being able to get out the door. So we'll just try centering it like this and see how it looks. I did like the whole three-tile thing though because it did make it a lot, like it made it so I could have the sink centered in the middle of it, which unfortunately we're not going to be able to do now, but I think we'll be able to make it work. Although, how would it look if instead of, you know, it might look better if instead of using these pieces, we use this one just to make it look a little bit smaller. Yeah, because I'm worrying that it might be a little bit too bulky. Uh, whoops. I guess we'll get that in there. And then that needs to be turned like this. All right, so we'll just have that situated like that. And then we just have to have some bar stools over here next to it. So definitely something that feels very modern. Maybe these because they have a little bit more of an industrial feel, which might be good for this kitchen. 
Or we could try these ones that came with Discover University. Yeah, these look pretty cool. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that, although we may need to go with something other than white to add some more color into the kitchen, but we can worry about that later. I'm thinking we can have the stove go over here and use the one from Cool Kitchen Stuff that matches it. And then above that, we can use this fancy overhead vent hood from Cool Kitchen Stuff as well, although I'm worrying that this is, yeah, I mean, that's a cool item and all, but it feels like it's a little bit too high up on the ceiling. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to go with something like this one or maybe not that one, but, oh wait, this one. Yeah, that one looks really cool. And then we could do some kind of cool open shelving thing over, the, like around this maybe. And then over here, I wanted to have the sink. So we'll go with this one and then have that right there. I mean, that's probably not as good of a layout as when we had the sink in the island here, but I don't know, I'm just worrying that that's gonna get in the way of this door if we like center it too much. I mean, maybe, I mean, we could try it and I could test it and see if it'll work. Cause I mean, it would definitely look a lot better to have the sink in the island like we did before than where it is now. Cause I mean, realistically, I don't think this would be a very good kitchen layout because you'd pull your food out, food out over here, cook over here. And then the sink is like way over here across the kitchen. So this definitely seems like it would be a better space for it, but yeah, I'm just worrying about that door there. So the next thing we need to get is a dishwasher, but unfortunately, since we use this kind of counters over here, we're gonna have to snap the dishwasher to right there, which isn't really the ideal spot. I mean, something else we can do is have the stove here and then have this overhead above it there, which might look kind of cool. I mean, maybe that could work out better that way we could actually have the dishwasher and the sink next to each other. I mean, maybe, yeah, that, that kind of works. So I think we'll just go with that. I mean, I think either having the sink or the stove here works pretty well. I think this is pretty good as far as the kitchen layout goes, but I wanted to try another wood flooring because I'm not really that happy with this one. So there is this one that has a lot of really good swatches. And yeah, that one definitely looks a lot better. So we're gonna go with this. And I also want to figure out a different wallpaper for the kitchen area. So there was a subway tile that I wanted to try because I think that has a white swatch and a blue one. And I feel like either of those could work pretty well in here. I think this was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. The only problem is we have that whole issue where, you know, it's up the whole wall, which I don't really want. So we're gonna have to do something here to separate it. So I'm thinking this could work well if we want to stick with that whole super white look. Or we could also use this one if we wanted to add a little bit more color in. But I'm thinking that for this house, I mean, either of those could look good. I'm gonna actually get some columns in to try to separate that. Cause yeah, that's not really looking good. I wish there was a better way to like separate different kinds of walls. I don't know, cause it's just, it's just kind of hard to actually make it work out. Uh, we also need a little bit more light over here. So we're gonna clone that and then stick another one over on this side just to make this kitchen a little bit brighter. Getting back to this, I wanna figure out if we wanna go for the white or the blue at this. I'm kinda of liking the white. I mean, I know it's a lot of white in this apartment, but I just like the simple and bright look that that gives. I think for this kitchen, I'm just gonna go with open cabinetry, like just shelves all around. Cause I feel like if we use these shelves, it's just gonna open, it's just gonna ruin that open modern look that this kitchen has. I mean, something else we can do is use this cabinet instead, but I'm thinking that what's gonna look better is just using some shelves and putting some various kinds of decorations on them. And we do luckily have these white shelves that came with that recent patch. So we'll have a couple of them over here near the windows. And then over on this side, we'll put one over here. And this is definitely gonna be pretty tedious to try to decorate, but I'll see what I can do with it. And, and then we'll just leave it open above the sink. Yeah, I don't think we really need to have anything over there. Okay, so I'm gonna move on from the kitchen for now and then come back to it and just kind of continue flushing out the idea of what I wanna do with this space. So for this table, let's try going at the white color of it, or we could even try another one. Like we could go with this more, like this more simple one and maybe this lighter color. Actually, no, not that one. I wanted the longer version of that. Yeah, cause I'm not completely sure about that table or this one. I mean, even that one. 
So let's just get that out because we might, might end up using it. Oh, we have this one. Yeah, this table is really cool and definitely super modern. Like definitely feels pretty artistic. So we could try this one. Yeah, I think we're gonna give that a go. All right, so I feel like right there is about centered where we would want it to be. And I just wanna look through the swatches of this a little bit more to see if there's anything that could work better than that. Yeah, I'm thinking the one that we had here was maybe the best one. All right, so let's figure out a light because I wanna get some kind of nice fancy chandelier above this table. I'm not sure if this one, not this, oh wait, maybe this one. Ooh, yeah, I think that could work. The other one I was thinking about was this, but I feel like this, yeah, that's like almost on the table, so that's, that's probably a little too much. So I wanna go back to this one because this definitely feels like just kind of like this artsy thing. Yeah, that is definitely looking really cool, but I know I keep going back and forth on this table, but I'm just not completely sure about that table right now. Um, so let me go back to this one and see which one looks better. I'm kind of thinking maybe, yeah, I'm thinking I like this one a little bit more. Okay, well, so we'll stick with that. And I also want to revisit these bar stools over here because I'm not really 100% sure about that either. So we do, ooh, we do have these ones. Or we have these ones if we want to go something that, once again, is a bit more simple and takes up less space. Okay, so that could be something that works. Oh, we also have this one. Yeah, that's always a good one for more modern spaces. I really like how these ones look in here, so we're gonna stick with that for now and then move on to figuring out what kind of chair we're gonna use here. So once again, something that's very modern, very high end. So what do we have that fits that bill? There is this one from City Living, which could work. And something that I could do to try to break up all the white in here is change the walls to gray or something like that. But at least this has a little bit of beige or something like that on it, so it does help to break that up some. But I just wanna revisit this and see what we can do to break this up some. Cause I don't know, like I, I did like the very modern look of the white. Like I kinda like how bright it makes everything feel. I'm just not sure about this. So I think we can go back to that. I mean, maybe it's fine. Like we could add some more color in with decorations that we have in the kitchen. I'm just really liking this bright white look that we have in here. Cause it's, it's different than what I would normally do. Okay, so that's what we're gonna go with for the dining room set. And then we need to revisit this over here. Cause, I mean, this looks pretty good. We could always go with the white swatch of this. And then I think we can move that back a little bit more. Cause I do like this set. But let me just look to see what else there is that could work better in here. So not that, we did have this one from Spa Day but that, that, that one's pretty bulky. Like I want something that feels lighter. I know Julian suggested that we try the bowling stuff one, but I'm not really sure about that. I don't know, let's give it a whirl and see how it looks. And then we do also have the chairs from it, although they aren't really, I don't think they're really part of the exact same set, but they could work. I don't know, I'm just not sure about this one because it takes up a bit more space than I would like. But what we could do is keep these chairs because I think they'll actually kind of work with this couch set. So we'll get rid of, or eh, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. We'll just keep the ones that come with it. And I think I'll just stick with this set. But I want to try some other colors just to see what we have that could work. So we could go with this one that we had in here initially, but there is just something that I'm liking about just this old white look that it has. So we'll just stick with that and we can add some color through plants and decorations and such, but you know, have the larger items in the room be white. I think we can make it work. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that. And then set this a little further back. I think someone mentioned, let me check who it was. It was Beck's Big Hair who suggested that I take these and move them back into here to open the space up a little bit and create more of a reading nook. And I wanna do something different for the TV right here because I'm not really feeling that. So something I could do is something that I've done in other builds where I take that one light up wall decoration from luxury party stuff and I stick it behind the TV just to 
just to create sort of a backlit, you know, like a backlit backsplash for the TV. So I thought that was something that worked out pretty well. I think that was actually in lights and that's why we're not finding it here. Okay, yeah, there that is. So I think what I did in the, okay, no, we didn't size it up. What did, we, what did I do? It's been a bit since I did this, but I think I just overlapped it like this and then went down. Yeah, I think that's it. This might look better if I try to cover up the gaps because something about this is just looking a little off. So we're gonna take two of these away and try to move them in a little bit closer. So maybe like that. And then this one can move here. Yeah, I think that's working a little bit better. I know it's kind of glitching out with the intersecting, but hopefully that shouldn't be too annoying. Okay, so we'll go with that. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's crazy bright, but I think it does work pretty well. I can always tone down the light when I go into live mode just to, you know, not make that look so in your face. Okay, so we got that. And I want to go ahead and add in a coffee table now. So I'm wondering if we have one of these larger ones that feels, okay, no, not that. Like just one of these larger ones that feels super modern. I can't remember if we have that or not. Something else I want to try is using that smaller square one that came with, I think it was get together or get, get to work. One of those get packs or, oh, wait, wait a minute. Hello, you could work. Yeah, I think we can do something with this. Like it's, it's got, you know, it's got kind of this futuristic floating look. It's got that matte white finish that I want, or, you know, that smooth white finish. This I think is it. I mean, it's a little small, but I think it works. You know, it's something a little bit more minimal. So I want to see if we have any other swatches that could work, like maybe the gray one or this one. No, I think, I think we'll stick with this one. I don't know what the difference between. Okay. So this one's like slightly higher. So what if we did this kind of like artsy fartsy thing and combine them to create like a multi-level coffee table? That could be a thing. Hmm, I'm kind of digging it. You know, it's very a little, little avant-garde. Okay, so we'll go with that. We'll see how that works. I mean, I think that's, I feel like that's something that goes with this house. And then I want to find a rug to use in here. Something that has a swatch that feels very modern like that. Or we could try this one since it's in more of that square shape that I want for this room. Because this might have some swatches that work pretty well. Like we have not this one. We do have this one or I think there was even this one. Yeah, I kind of like this one. You know, I like the blues that it adds in. But I just want to take a look and see what else there was. Because I could have sworn there was a green one like this, but maybe not. This one doesn't look half bad either, so that's a maybe, but I'm kind of liking this one. It adds a little bit of fun to this room. I still feel like something is lacking with the wall color coloring in here, but I don't really know what else to do. Although, you know, let's go with that. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking like a more minimal pattern is better for this house because, as I said, I want it to be more minimal. And what do we want to do for the curtains? I don't know if these in white, okay, no, those in white aren't quite the look. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. I feel like they would definitely want to have currents being a celebrity and all, but a lot of these currents feel like they're just not going to go with that modern feel that I want for this house. I mean, we could always try the, these ones in the old white. I mean, maybe this I think could work, but I want to try adding a little bit more color to these couches. So maybe something like this, or even just that for those chairs over there. But let's try it on these as well, just to see how that looks. I mean, I think that's kind of nice. You know, just something to break up the colors in here a little bit. And then since we did that, maybe we can go with more of a white swatch or a more neutral swatch for the rug. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, I think it works having the color in the couches rather than the rug. And I feel like that goes pretty well with what we've done so far. And hopefully that comes together more as we add more stuff. And why is this looking like that? Yeah, this is unfortunately like a little weird glitch thing that happens sometimes. Okay, so moving on, I know we should probably figure out something else for the walls, but it's just with, ha with having this subway tile, I don't know how well it's gonna work to have some other kind of brick, but I wanted to try having a wallpaper like this without the you know, paneling or the, the molding on the bottom, because I feel like that'll add to that just modern, like more modern feel that this has. Yeah, I think that's like, even though it's, it's more simple, I think this actually works a little bit better. 
We also need to get some kerns on this wall, so I'm just gonna do the same thing that we did over there and use these. And after that, I think we're pretty much done with getting the basic furniture in, so now we can start really adding some detail to things. So I'm just gonna start with this area over here and move my way over, and after that, I'm gonna wrap this part up. So right here, I don't know if I wanna have a coat rack or anything like that. Like, I feel like that might kind of not go with the sleek and modern look of this apartment, but I mean, we could have this over here. Yeah, I always find the entry area of a house a pretty tricky space to furnish, or maybe not even that. Maybe like a mirror and a small table or something like that. Like we could have this, uh, where was it? Like the lighted mirror. There was one that came with Spa Day and then one that came with Get Famous. So this is the Get Famous one. I mean, that looks pretty cool. It fits in the space nicely. We have this one. I'm thinking this one. Yeah, this one feels a lot more impressive. And rather than doing a table, we could have a shelf instead. You know, it's kind of like an entryway shelf. I think that could look pretty cool. So I'm gonna just have a couple of these or maybe just yeah, I think we would take a couple of these and overlap them like this. And I'm just going to scooch that down this way a little bit more. Yeah, so we just have some, I don't know what, like maybe some knickknacks, decorations. Because as I was saying before, I want everything in this house to look very curated, very together. Like this is pretty much like a show house where everything is just super neat and nice. And then on the floor here we can have some kind of smaller modern plant. Like what if we size this down a few times? Or maybe not that, no, let's not do that. Let's just have the plant on the shelf. Okay, so we can have you there. We could even use this shell or this um, statue or uh, vase. Like we could size them down, but I think we're gonna have to get out that red shelf and use that. Oh, we did have these cabinets. I don't think, yeah, I don't think those are gonna go with our kitchen. So I'm not gonna bother with using them. I'm just gonna stick with what we have. But I am gonna get this and then use this so that I can make it so these vases look like they're on the cabinet. And I think I'm gonna have that, or on the, on the shelf. Um, and then I think I'm gonna have that be pretty much it on here because I don't want it to look like it's too cluttered. And then I think on the next part, I'll focus on the downstairs and then we'll move on to the upstairs after that. Okay, so for this one, I think we'll go with black or maybe something with a little more color, like something that, oh, like that. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Okay, so uh, we could do that. No, I think we'll stick with the white for that. Okay, so there we go. We've got our little, uh, our cute little entryway shelf. And moving over here, I don't know if we want to fit a bookshelf or something along those lines in here. Maybe not. Yeah, I think we just had the bookshelves upstairs. Okay, so for right here, I wanted to try using that potted palm thing, like that one fern-like plant. I think this would look really good right over here. And we're just gonna go with the white swatch of that. Um, I mean, we could go with this one. Oh, wait, maybe? No, I think that's, yeah, I'm not really sure about that because that's right next to that blue chair. That's kind of, I don't know. It just doesn't really, it just kind of clashes a little bit right next to each other. Or we could even have that. No, I, I, don't, I don't think I wanna do that. I think I wanna have the plant right here. And then between these two chairs, we can have a table with a lamp on it or something like that. Okay, so you stick there and then we'll go ahead and get that table that I was talking about. So once again, something very modern. I feel like I'm gonna be saying modern a whole lot in this part and a whole lot in this build. Uh, but we can, no, that's not quite, like I want something that feels high-end, fancy, bougie, modern. Like maybe this. Yeah, I kind of like that. Or, or we have this. Yeah, I feel like that works pretty well for over here. And I'm hoping that'll look a little bit better once I get a lamp on it. Because right now, it's not looking very well lit over here. And I just want to see, I mean, we do have this one. If we want to have it be modern and bring a little bit more elegance into the space. So, I mean, that is an option. But I think I like the feel of the other table a bit more than that. Although we do also have this one. But no, I think we're gonna stick with this. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think, I mean, we could go with, no, I, I think we'll just stick with the white. Yeah, there's not really any other colors for that that I think look good in here. Okay, so moving on, let's get that light. So we do have this one, which does go pretty well with the style of this. Uh, so we could use that swatch of it. Or let's look for something else like this one. 
Yeah, this one I think works pretty well too. Okay, so we'll go with that. I mean, that adds a little bit of black in here, so something other than all the white, or even that one. I wanna compare this to the last one that we had. Yeah, I think something like that works a little bit better, or even this one. Yeah, let's give that a go. I think we're gonna stick with this one here. I just feel like that works the best for the space. All right, so moving on, I wanted to get another kind of end table in here, so we could throw in another one of these, since I feel like that works so well for this room. But we're gonna have to go with a different coffee or a different light over here, because I don't think it's gonna look good to reuse that one. Oh, we have this one. That's kind of cool. Although I feel like that's maybe a bit much. Okay, so we can actually try this one over here, or I'm wanting something with gray on it to go with that one that we used there. Or we do have this one. That one's kind of cool. Uh, maybe we can go back to the Seasons one for right here. You do have the option of other swatches. You know, that that looks pretty good. It kind of ties in with this pillow right here, adds more color. And since it isn't white, like since it doesn't have a white shade, it doesn't feel like it's conflicting with that so much. Um, but I mean, we can always hash out like final, finalize the details next time because I'm sure like some, you know, I'm sure a bunch of you will have suggestions to help this and make it come along, you know, make it look a little bit better than it is currently. Okay, so the next order of business is to get some kind of plant here. So we do have the plant that came with university. So that could be something that looks good. Or we have this one. This is always a really good option for a house like this. So that one, no, I don't know about that one. That one looks kind of cool in here. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that swatch of it. Okay, so we'll just get rid of this. And then right here, I don't know, we'll just have some less decorative stuff. Or we could even go with the black, just add some of that in. I mean, I feel like that's a little bit too much white if we keep that. Oh wait, that? I think looks good. I normally would put more stuff on the coffee table, but I feel like this doesn't really need much. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for now and then move on over here to the dining room. So for this room, I just wanna add some sort of plan or something to the center of the table. So we could go with this one. Like maybe there's a, a white swatch of that. That could look good. So we'll just cycle through this. Oh wait, hold on, that one. Wait, no, not that one. I don't think that was the one that I was looking at. Um, I think I saw, yeah, this one I think could work. Although I would like something with some blues to tie in with the kitchen or with the living room. But I mean, that, that could do the trick, but let's keep looking to find something else that may possibly work a little bit better than that. Like we do have these ones, which are really cute. I actually like this little bundle of them more. Oh wait, I like that. Yeah, so we'll just throw this on here instead. And then I wanna figure out some sort of cool wall decoration for over here. So one pack that I think came with something that could work is Moschino stuff, because there was this whole wall decoration over here. So let's just see what we got that goes with the color of the room a little bit more. Like we have that one, we have, I mean, I feel like this is a little, too, I mean that, you know, you know, it might be good to throw in a little bit more black. So that is something that could work. So we'll keep that, but I just want to look and find something else that could work. Like there was the one that came with Get Famous that might not look too bad in here either. Like we could use a swatch of it that has like these on it or even that one. Like maybe the house belongs to a famous artist or something like that, or I don't know if that works. But I do like that this has the blues to tie in with the living room, so that's a maybe. This painting here is another possibility, and I like that these colors tie in with over, tie in with this, you know, with this furniture over here pretty well. So let's give that a go. I just honestly always find these more modern, sterile spaces harder to furnish because, as I'm sure a lot of you know, like those more cozy, cluttered, warm family spaces are more of my like go-to style that I'm a little bit better at. So I'm honestly kind of struggling with this a little bit, but it's I think it's it's coming together pretty well. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that one a bit more than the other one. I just like how bright it is and how much how it adds more color. So we're gonna stick with that. And for right here, I wanted to try to add some kind of stereo system. You know, like something that's a bit more fancy and modern, like maybe this one, or even this one. That one always looks pretty nice. Or there is this one too, but I don't know. I'm thinking this one works in here the best. 
Or, you know, this might actually be a good space to try to add in some kind of bookshelf. Like, I wonder if we could fit in that one from City Living that's really cool looking. I don't think there's quite enough space for that. Yeah, that's not really gonna work unless we like maybe stuck it over here. And then we got that over there, so that's not really gonna work. Like, if we could size this down and have it like this above that, I mean, that could work. You know, that doesn't really look half bad. Let's see how that looked compared to it with just the painting. You know, I think that, I think that works pretty well. Yeah, it kind of helps to add a little bit more to the space. Okay, so we're gonna take that and scooch that down a little bit and then move this down with that. And then we're not gonna bother with having a stereo in here. So perhaps right here, we could just add some kind of cool, more modern standing lamp and that could do the trick. Or you could go with a plan to make make things a little bit more symmetrical. So I wanna see how it looks if we stick another one of these over here. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so for right here, I wanted to get some decorations in. I wanted to try adding, uh, maybe not that plant. You know, maybe we just shouldn't stick plants here, although I do like this one. So I wanna add that over there because I wanna see if we can incorporate that in there. Yeah, I think it's since we have this plant right here, just to avoid it being like too over planty, we should go with more statues. Like there was that one bust statue. Yeah, this one right here. So I'm thinking that could fit in really nicely there. And I'm not sure what to put over here. I mean, we could do a plant there since it's not, you know, right next to the other plant. I think that, you know, I think having that distance or separation will help a little bit. Oh, uh, that's not where I want that to go. Is that gonna snap? Okay, that's not really gonna snap anywhere else. So we're gonna have to get that shelf out once again to try to position that where I want. And I'm not sure if I'm really gonna add anything else to this because I don't want it to look like it's too cluttered. But I think having, actually, is that floating? Eh, it looks like it's floating just a teensy bit. So we're gonna lower that just a tad. Okay, I think that works. So we'll just get rid of this one up here and I feel like that's good. Okay, so that's pretty much our dining area done. I don't, I mean, you could add something over here, but I mean, we've got the stairs going down to the basement right there. So I don't think we need to do that. We do need a trash can though. So I'm thinking that sticking it right here could work well. And rather than using like this plasticky one that I always use, we're gonna go with this nicer looking one. And I know there is this one, but I never use that because I don't really like how it looks. But this one definitely fits in with the, how, the look of the house pretty well. And enough, like something I would like to know your thoughts on is this whole curtain situation because I'm still not sure of that. So I love to know what ideas you all have for the curtains in this house. But now comes probably the most tedious part of this furnishing where we need to figure out, like we need to place all of the decorations and everything up here because I'm thinking we could place some plants and like some spices and that sort of a thing. Uh, let's not do that one. Let's do this one. Or wait, no, this is, yeah, this is supposed to be like the really nice coffee maker. So we're gonna throw that in. Um, I mean, at least the nice thing about this kitchen is that we're not really gonna have a whole lot, you know, on the counters themselves, you know? Like that's gonna be fairly clean and simple. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't think that really fits in the best right there. And there was the one plant from Dine Out that I wanted to use because I think that would work pretty well in there. Yeah, I really like this one right here. So we're gonna size, actually, do we need to size that down? Let's see. Hmm, yeah, I think we need to size that down once because that is actually a pretty large plant. And I wanted to take it and position it here. And I don't wanna worry about putting in a dish drying rack in this kitchen because I don't think that really needs that. And something else I wanted to put in here was some sort of fruit, like fruit basket. So we got this one which I think could look pretty nice. So once again, we're gonna move that and position that right here. And I feel like this watch is pretty good, but I just wanna see, yeah, I, I think that's the one that's gonna work the best for this house. And over here, I wanted to add some kitchen utensils. So I think there was, yeah, raw utensil holder. So we're gonna go with this watch of that. And I don't think we really need to have anything else out. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it as far as all of the countertop decorations. And I wanted to add some sort of mat here in front of the sink. So for that, we're gonna go with this swatch of like this one that's like more beige of this one. And um, let's get some soap too. Yeah, we need some soap and paper towels around the sink. 
And after that, I, th I think we're gonna be all good as far as the countertop decorations go. So definitely far more minimal than what I would normally do. And uh, let's find that paper towel dispenser. So paper towel, we should find it this way uh, or not. It was, what was it? Modernist paper towel dispenser. That was it. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't show up when I searched for paper. Okay, so we got that. And I'm thinking we'll have that there. And then the soap could be on the other side. And then we just gotta get all the decorations. Did I get rid of? Okay, good, I did get rid of that shelf because we were gonna need that a whole bunch out here. So to keep things a little more clean looking in here, I think mostly what I'm gonna do is put just plates and cups and bowls out rather than having a bunch of clutter because yeah, I just, I just don't think it's gonna go with the vibe of this. So that took me a bit of time to do, but it is done. And the last thing I wanna do for wrapping things up is get some curtains in this area. So for right here, or maybe not this one, I wanna try the blinds from Discover University. So we'll just size these down just so we have something here in the kitchen. Although I still feel like that's taking up a bit more. Okay, so maybe we won't have them on that window, but I still wanted to get something on this window over here. So we could try this watch of this and have it like, I'm trying to get it so it's not intersecting with the counters at all. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's how it looks over in the kitchen. And I wanna get a look at how it is in the other direction before we wrap things up. Um, I still, like, I feel like we still need to do a little bit of work over here because I'm not just, I'm just not completely feeling it, but I think this side of things are pretty good. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. So if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and bye.